हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विवेक शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आईटी इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेज टुडे आई डिलीवर ए वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन केस कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड स्विच केस स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज दी थ्री कीवर्ड्स स्विच केस एंड डिफॉल्ट विल मेक ए स्विच केस स्टेटमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू डेफिनेशन द कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट दैट अलाउ अस टू मेक ए डिसीजन फ्रॉम नंबर ऑफ चॉइसिस इज कॉल्ड स्विच In this case, we have a number of choices, and among these number of choices, we have to select one or two or three choices at a time. So we will always use switch case statement. There are three keywords generally used: switch case and default. This is the basic syntax of switch case statement. Switch. There is an entire expression inside this switch, just like one, two, three. Then case constant one. Do this. Case constant two. multiple statements case constant 3 expressions default do this so this entire value will always compare to this value and according to particular matching particular block will be executed so now we will take example of such case in this given example we have an entire variable i its value is 2 Switch i, so definitely it will pass to case one. It is not equivalent to case one. Now it will compare to case two. I is now two. This will equal to this one. So control directly goes here, and it print b. Switch value always compare case value, and if there is break statement, then control automatically. goes to outside the block but here there is no break statements so control automatically go to next case without any comparing and it will print c next line there is again no break statement again control passes to the next line default automatically it will print hello so in this given case case always compare only once and control automatically execute further if there is no break statements so to avoid this particular condition we will always use break inside a switch so now we will take next example here we will use break with switch in this example we are using break inside switch case so here once again there is integer variable i its value is 2 now switch i so there is 2 it will compare 2 will compare to 1 so it is not equal to 1 then control goes to 2 equal to case 2 so this case will be executed and control goes here in this case b will be printed in our output screen but here we can see there is a break statement so control goes automatically outside the switch body that is gate ch so by using break control goes automatically outside the 
switch statement. So, this is a much better approach by using to execute switch case. Now, we will take more example of switch case. Now, we are taking third example. In this given example, we can easily observe all the three cases, case 70, case 100 and case 22, there is no ascending or descending situation. Here value i is 22, control, compare this value, switch value to case value 22 is not equal to 70, then control goes to check next case that is 100, now 22 is not equal to 100, then control check next statement case 22. So, control directly goes here and it will print value z in our output screen and by using break statement control goes outside the switch case body. So, this is a very good approach by which we can write down our cases without any order. It means we can write down either ascending, descending, there is no particular situation, we can write switch case in any order. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel, please like, comments and subscribe.